Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Die the Tasmanian Tiger. And Die is staring at you with those cold, heartless eyes. Well, no, he's not. He's staring at his boomerangs. So, we finally get to leave this horrible place and go back to Rainbow Cliffs where a surprise is waiting for us. Julius with those scary two thumbs. So, we need to... Speaking of Julius, we actually need to go and talk to him. Because guess what? We've collected quite a few golden cokes. So, uh... To Julius' lab! Away! Right, now that we're here, if we talk to Julius, you can see the golden cock counter is, is at zero. So, uh... The talisman machine requires ah, this wrong. many ice thunder eggs to work. It's ice thunder why eggs. That's why they're blue. Is this so? The frosty delirious eggs were... Oh dear. Let's skip that. This is what we wanted to do. Oh, thank you, Ty. Just what I needed. Some more golden cogs. Yes, more. Cogs that are yes, golden. An infrarang. Infrarang? This has an infrared attachment. Oh my. When you enter scope mode by holding the Ty's view button, by you pressing will be something. able to see things that you couldn't see before. Yes. You little ripper! Mm, more Australian lingo. Now, we can actually show off what these do. And look, look at that. If we go to... You can't see it. Look, it's gone. There's an, it's not there. But if we go into Infrarang, you can see the f incredible camouflage box. And these basically con uh, contain concept art. Now, as I said before, I'm not going to be paying a lot of attention to the concept art because there is a way to get all the concept art later on in the game, which you will find out later how that is. But basically, we've got another Core of Duty weapon. This is a s infrared scope boomerang. Yes, it's a uh, sort of ridiculously modern uh, boomerang that you can sort of see into the infrared spectrum. The, hmm. Anyway, so we're going to go back to um, that sort of bunch of levels, and we're going to do the last... Oh, hello, it's, it's bleeping again. Okay, I think from now on, if I do hear a bleepy, I will look around and see what... See if I can find the bleepiness. Um... Hmm. Or, oh, that's going to annoy me. Where is it? Ah, there it is. I did not see that earlier. And look, it falls perfectly in place onto that stool. Now, I think, actually, I'm going to not use the infrarang because that's going to annoy me quite a lot. And as I said, I'm not going to bother with the concept art because you get them later on. Anyway, if you get uh, 100% in the game, but I'm not going to tell you how. Instead, we're going to start a new level. <laughs> Gotta love uh, Maurice. Maurice Gabora's beautiful, um, hang on, what? Ah! Ah, my god, it's this guy again! Oh, but he's now a friend. Kind of. He's still ugly as hell, but he's actually a friend now. You're gonna sit on that? Yeah, good Are question. You feeling all right, mate? Ah, he's a big pussycat when you get to know him. And he's not right, charging right? at you. Yeah, right as rain. I'll use this, me lesser rain. What the hell did he get that from? Why, why have I never, why have I never used that before? A lesser What the hell? What the hell, man? Um. Right, so, uh... Yeah, welcome to Outback Safari. The really quite disgustingly... Disgusting sort of looking place that is the Outback. Sort of a desert. Is that a bite? And, uh, we are riding a giant... Well, well, I still don't know what it is. I mean, people say it's a bull. It looks like a bull, but it's called bull. Why would you call a boar bull if it's a pig? Something like oinkers or piglet. Sort of. Is this what happens when um, Piglet from Winnie the Pooh sort of grows up in the wrong neighborhood? Becomes this little. It's, well, it's not little. It's a massive cretin. Um, yeah. So, um. That's Dr. Murray. When I thought I could have a nap, trouble stirs up again. Shazza is off on her afternoon rounds, but I saw a gang of frills heading after her. 
Oh no. Do you think you could go and take care of those hooligans? I'm sure we can do that. Yes. Oh, that's the spirit, mate. Okay, all you have to do is knock the frills off their bikes before they reach Shazza. Easy enough. Now where's Shazza? Where's she gone? Oh, she's behind me. Ah, fine. Push me out the way, you bitch. Now basically, this this level is kind of annoying. Oh crap. I can't believe I failed at that. Um, okay, we'll go around and get all the boxes later. There's a thrill. Oh, what? Okay, this is going a bit weird. Um, nah. I think it's... Ah! Ah! What's going on? I'm having a bit of trouble with this. Um, where the hell are they going? Mind the fucking tornadoes. This is this is going a bit tits up. It's not good. This is normally one of the easier challenges. But oh my god, Shaz is nearly dead. It's not good. It doesn't help that we nearly lost her thanks to that freaking tornado. So is, <laughs> I was gonna say this is a fairly easy challenge. All you gotta do is. Um, ah, fucking tornado! I wonder if we can. Can we actually kill them with the boomerang? Because that would be easier. No, we have to use. I'm having massive problems with the camera. And this this challenge is supposed to be easy, but it's 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 giving me some it's giving me some grief, grief which I never expected would happen. Ah. Now look, there's a frail bike. What the hell happened then? Come on, die! There we go. Ah. This must be some sort of weird mutation that the Let's Players curse. Because it's it's just weird. They're missing a hell of a lot of boxes, but... They better not stray far, too far ahead, because they spawn around Shazza. Rather than when I get close. I think. Is that it? We done? Yes. Unreal, Ty. Good. You showed those frills a thing or two. By the way, one of them dropped this. Sweet. Oh, you beauty. So that's our first thunder egg of this level. Um, what happened to that random opal that was just set? There it is. Um, right. Just get these boxes here. <laughs> Breaking everything. Got the punctuality of a brick. Yeah, the controls are a little bit weird in when using this, using the giant ass bull. But it's it's, it's all good. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get this level done nice and. It, 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 this is another level where it's gonna. It might take a while to find everything. I remember. Oh, just got a life. That was nice. Um, where it's it's kind of difficult. It can be difficult to find everything because they're hidden in those sort of really. Get out of the way, you fence! Ow! Especially when the camera is sort of having an epileptic fit. No! Don't get caught in the tornado again. Damn. Damn the tornadoes. Basically, the, the best way to find everything is just break everything. Just go on a massive rampage. It's okay, if you ever come back to the level, everything gets fixed and you can break the level. Oh, I just got a golden cock. Um, hidden in some bales of hay. That's nice. Whoa. Ah! Stupid camera. Doesn't help you moving at sort of a ridiculous amount of miles an hour, and the camera's sort of having, having babies or something. Baby cameras. It doesn't know what it's doing. Yes, and I've noticed that sort of so far in this um, L this episode of the LB, I've been talking in a really, really weird voice. It's sort of kind of weird. Wow! And my voice just cracked. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Maybe we should talk about something relevant. Um, so yeah, this this epi this episode, this level, is um, not one of my favourites, again. In fact, I think this sort of group of three levels is my least favourite in the game. Just because it, this, I mean, um, the controls when controlling this... Oh, another golden cog. So this is why I mean just break everything and hopefully you'll find all that you need. If you'll stare in the right way, Jesus. <sighs> um, yeah, I think as far as the sort of group of levels go, this group is my least favourite. I mean, Bridge Over the River Tower was a pretty awesome level. It's pretty cool. But uh, this one, and especially... Oh, God, stop. I, I could talk about my hatred for snow worries for England and probably America too if they let me for their country. But um yeah, I I, I, oh, I do not like snow worries. This one's just it's just a bit annoying this level. Hello? It's a real score to the day. Hello Ken spot fires have broken out. Right. Every time no. I try to put out a fire, one of those thrills gets in the way. Jeez. Can you lend me a hand, mate? Yes. Good on you, mate. There's enough water in those towers to douse the plane. Lovely. Right, so all we need to do is what do we do? What do we do? All oh, right, yeah. Push. <laughs> oh, I've got other to do. Um, what you do is just lasso the water tower. Is that another look? Oh my gosh, not close enough. There we go. Then just press B or whatever you've got to set as boomerang. Um, the boomerang button, the boomerang button, and just keep tapping that and go backwards. And that'll douse the flames. Oh, is this the wrong one? Oh, shit. Is that what we need? This one's a nice, easy challenge. Those frills shouldn't give you too much uh, trouble. There we go. A ripper of an effort, mate. It's an effort. You handle those frills and save the town without breaking a sweat. Sweet. You deserve a medal. In fact, you deserve better than that. Well, we could make that into a giant medal. It's just sort of hanging around our necks. Sort of. It looks heavier than our heads, though. Heavier than our necks. Can pull up, so sort of just, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hanging thunder eggs around your neck. It's one hell of a necklace. And I've just realized, we've, we've, um, been going for over ten minutes and I still haven't found a singular building. It's not, not good, not great. Uh, I just lapsed into some sort of version exit that I'm not quite sure why that is. But, um, Trust me. Uh, there's lives everywhere. Um, I think I, I think I'm starting to get used to the camera again. You just sort of have to be very, very conservative with it. Don't jut it around too much. And ooh, talking bilbies. Yay, bilby number one. So we are making progress, just very slowly. Just make sure we get all of these boxes, otherwise we're going to be doing a lot of fishing for boxes later. Try not to run into a house. Just spent ages or about three minutes making sure all the houses were saved from the fire, and what do we do? We just break them. It's not good. Uh, what's in here, if anything? Uh, no, I don't want to break the house. I just want to break the tower house. A little shed thing made out of corrugated metal. Great Australian engineering right there. I spotted some more. God, it's so hard to control. It's out of control. Oh, that way, there we go. Is there any other, anything else in this sort of pen type arrangement? Excuse me, cows! Moo! See, see, like, relating to, uh, randomly relating to Josh Jepsen's LP. That's how you treat cows. You give them nice, big, open crazes. Not a, a tiny little cage in the second story of a house. <sighs> oh, there's some boxes over there. Let's go get them. Let's go get those boxes. Did I just break that windmill? No. Can you break that windmill? No, 
That's one of the few things you can't actually break. Which is good. You always want wind to be built. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there's a box right in the middle of the road we missed. I'm not right there. Um, let's get there. Uh, make sure... Uh, that's not really a pasture. Right, I think we shall call it an episode. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Um, hopefully we'll get some more done in the next episode. We've got two thunder eggs and a bilby and a couple of golden cogs. Um, but uh, apart from that, it's been pretty, pretty random. Pretty strange. Uh, so I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, I'm Hal Diamond, and until next time, goodbye!